it like two birds. Hey guys, I'm Mindy from Q Girls Hairstyles and I'm here with CGH3. And today we're going to show you how to do the diagonal zipper braid. So this technique I've seen floating around recently, but it's not a new technique and it is kind of tricky. So I thought I needed to do a tutorial on it and really go step by step so you guys could learn how to do it because you will love it once you master it. Okay, now to begin this braid, I'm going to go on a diagonal. So I'm going to start like right around by her eyebrow and I'm going to work diagonally across her head, but if you want to go straight up and down, you can. Also, I really prefer to use wet hair for this style as it just braids in a little bit better and then when it dries, it's really pretty. So to begin, I'm going to pick up hair, get her little section going right here, and we're going to start with our three strands. Now, the first couple sections of this braid are very confusing. Once you get them, it's a piece of cake, and after that, it's very repetitive. So just follow very carefully what I'm doing here. You have your three strands. You're going to take your middle strand and go over your left strand. And then the middle strand is going to go over your right strand. So basically a normal braid stitch. We just created our first stitch. Okay, so you have your three strands again. Take the middle one and go up and over the left. This time we're going to take that, we're going to wrap it underneath and around the back of the other two and just have her hang on to it. That's just like locking in that first stitch we did. Now I'm going to come in here and pick up a little bit of hair and create our third strand again. So again, we have three strands, you can see them. I'm gonna go over and then under and hang that over to the side for her to hold. Can you tip back just a little bit? Thank you. And I'm gonna pick up some more hair because we need to recreate our third strand again. Now this is the point where the braid really begins. Up until now we've just been like kind of creating that first locked in stitch. Now we start the braid. So we picked up some hair and we're going to go over and under and we're going to have her hold it again. We're going to reach underneath and grab that first strand and put it together with this one. So we have two strands, this will be our middle, and these are now together. And what we've done is sandwiched. You can see there's like a little sandwich right here. And that's gonna come into play in just a minute. And then we're gonna pick up some more hair. So pick up hair, because we need to recreate our third strand. So we're gonna go over, and then under, and ask her to hold it. Reach underneath, and join that up to the middle strand. So again, we've sandwiched this piece of hair. Tip back just a little, please. Now I need another third piece. So I'm gonna pick up some more hair. And I think the smaller the piece is, the prettier this braid looks. So I'm gonna pick up small sections. We're gonna go over and under, wrap around, reach underneath, grab that hair, and combine it with our middle, pick up more hair. So you can see at this point, now we get into the repetitive. So it's just the same thing over and over and over. Over, under, hold, grab this piece, swing it to the middle, combine it with that middle, and then we need to pick up more hair to create our third piece. Again, we're gonna go over, under, over, Grab that, swing it around, pick up hair. We're gonna go over, under, over, have her hold it, grab this middle piece and combine it. I'm gonna comb it out a little just so that it's nice and smooth. And pick up hair again. Over, under, over, hold, add hair, and pick up more piece. Sakes and day, I've got to say, who would have thought that we'd be intertwined and quite the same? Okay, and once you get down to the last one, I'll show you what I do. Now, 
I just kind of, this point, hold please. Just switch it as much as you can. And then what I'm gonna do is just divide them up and braid it into a normal braid right here at the end. Like this. Add an elastic to the very end of it. And then I'm gonna take it and make it a cute little bun right here on the side of her head. Tuck those ends in. You can use spin pins or bobby pins at this point to secure that hair. Into place. And there you have this fun braid. Okay, we'll give you the finished spin. Ta-da! The zipper braid. I think it kind of looks like a zipper zipping up the back. And you are gonna get a thousand comments on this. She's been wearing this last few days to school and people seriously have been taking pictures of it and like sending it to their siblings. And it's funny because like she doesn't go to the same school as the twins, but the twins' friends have seen pictures of her hair <laughs> from their siblings. It's so great. This is such a great hairstyle. I know you're gonna love it. Now, if you guys haven't already seen it, we put up a new Disney style video this week. We did Anna's coronation hair. You can find it right here. So make sure and check that out too. And we will see you guys next week. Bye guys. Bye. To the hair. Because in the movie, she has a little clip and then some little ribbons coming out the bottom. So I wanted to mimic that effect as well in her hair. We fit like two birds in a house on the cotter six and I. I've gotta say. Nice. That's lovely. <laughs> Don't have enough fat on your body to make a du chin. nice double chin, yeah. <laughs> <laughs>